Fam, if you follow me on Insta fam, you will Instagram, you will know that I recently went to an Audi 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 Audi, Audi dealer. And in the Audi dealer, I saw the new R8 in person for the first time. And then I changed my mind about it because originally I preferred the older R8. The model looked better to me. But when I saw this thing in person, it looked freaking awesome. At the moment, it looks like a TT. Forza hasn't done it justice in his visualness. And I think, even in pictures, honestly, I don't think it looks good. But when you actually see it in person, it is so, so mean, so aggressive. The back end especially is probably my favorite part. <laughs> Well, let's get into it and see what we can do with it. Now, as we wanted to do with the Ferrari but couldn't, we're going to upgrade it. And just for the for the sake of looking at the back end, we're going to go here. Look at the back end. That is beautiful. I absolutely love that. So we actually got remove the wing or the Audi wing or that wing. We're going to stay with that wing. We're doing the visual stuff first. Trust me, of all people, like we can put pointy bits on it. We're gonna put we're gonna put pointy bits on it. Like there's no question about it. We can put twin turbos in there, so that's what we're gonna, we're gonna slap them in. That's what, what what else are we gonna do? Drive train conversion. Yeah, let's make it rear wheel drive. Not. So now it's just a matter of upgrading everything as norm. As I said, I absolutely love the, the, the visual of this car. It looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to see what the interior is like because I saw the interior through the window. The dealer was actually closed uh, because I forgot it was a, a bank holiday. Uh, but anyway, so I, I looked through the window and it looks so nice. And they're so, so like, it's just unreal. So I really want to see what it looks like in Forza. I like it. I don't like it enough to ever want to buy one. But I mean, if they were cheap enough, like the. Um, the, old, the older Audi R8, because you can pick them up for like 35k, it's ridiculous, so I don't know, it's it's uh, it's pretty cool so the tyres it has are not that good actually, then again it is it is a cheap car, right it's a cheap supercar, that's what it is in general, and a lot of people are like no it's not but honestly, I like shut up, mate. It is. It's a, it's one of the cheaper supercars, but that doesn't make it bad. It makes it pretty awesome because it means a lot of people can get access to it. I, I quite like that. So let's put sports tires on. So we're, we're somewhat staying road legal. They look somewhat road legal to me because they have tread in them. They have like there's, you can have, probably have get away with less. You could probably get away with that race tire compound if I'm honest. But we're not gonna do that because we're doing we're doing. A legit, a legitimate build on this car. It's all-wheel drive, so do we slap on those tires? Honestly, yes. I want a bit more traction just in case, because I know I've thrown so much more power into there. We need more traction. We got better tread, but you know we still got to make that next step. Now I'm keeping the rims because the rims look freaking sick. But the one I saw had blacked-out rims, stock, and it had some like, other little blacked-out bits. So that was pretty cool. I'm gonna basically black out the rims. It's, it's something that. Well, I, I just really want to do for some reason. Paint car. There we go. Applied it. No, don't want to do that. I don't need to do that. I'm thinking need for speed. What we need to do is paint the wheels. Just paint them. Not decal them. Paint them. Okie dokie. Right. Rims. They are going to be... Well, I would like some carbon rims, honestly. The carbon is more like a gloss finish on this on the wheel, so I'm going to go with that. As for the wing, we can't change the color of the wing. What about the... the these are... Oh, this is the windows? Can you actually change it? What? Am I changing the color? I'm changing the color of the windows. Since when is that a thing? I have not known this is a thing. Do I want to tint the windows? No, honestly. I kind of don't. Wing mirrors, I was going to paint carbon, but they're already carbon. It would seem. I think they're carbon. Or they're just black or something. Either way, it doesn't matter. And then the hood, we could also make carbon as well. But would we do that? No. You see, you can't make it a carbon hood if it goes off the actual hood. It just... No, you can't do that. So I think overall, that is going to be that. I absolutely love this blue color. The blue color comes in stock, I believe. Um, it, like, I, I saw it at the idea. This is the color I saw it in. Blue, and there was a white one, there was a yellow one. This looks so good in person. So now it's a matter of a tunage. So we've already got a decent top speed, so let's bring it down acceleration a little bit. Um, bit of camber, because then we can turn a little bit, because we've got all-wheel drive. We want to be able to turn a little bit more, actually. So let's bring that down. Now, the differential is where it's going to be cool. So stock, it's got 86% towards the rear, 70% acceleration on the rear, 50%. That's really weird and messy. So part of me doesn't want to touch that. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to mess with that. I'm going to try it as is, how it's supposed to be, stock, but we've upgraded it massively. And then we're going to see and play around with it, I think. Now, we need a track with... Oh, let's go on this one. Here she is, the Audi R8. Ah. 
let's get on with it. So, let's have a nice listen. It's going to sound like a, a hurricane. It sounds like the Lamborghinis in this game. All righty, righty, right. So, can we... Have we got enough power? The question is, have we got enough power? If you build an all-wheel drive car, and it does not wheel spin when you put your foot down at the launch, you haven't built a good car, a good all-wheel drive car. So, let's give it a go. And there you go. That's a proper all-wheel drive launcher. Now, as I said, I really want to see the... Oh, my God. Those turbos are freaking loud. So far, so good, honestly. It handles really... Re okay, the brakes could use a little bit of tweaking. But for an all-wheel drive car on Forza, not only they understeer to absolute wank, which is why you have to, like, handbrake through every corner. A little bit there, but I went a bit too quick, honestly. I could have got away... Like, could have got around that. But this is ridiculously quick. I didn't realise it was going to be this quick. I know I, like, slapped in, like, twin turbo upgrade and everything, but... Seriously, did not expect to be able to handle it this well and just pull out of corners this well. This is ridiculous. Look at this! So as I said, the one thing I really want to see is inside the car. This is going to be a treat for my eyes. Oh, Lord! So as I said, I only saw a little bit. It, look, it, looks, it looks a bit better in person. But as I said, I only saw it through the window and it was kind of like really sunny, so it was blinding me. But look at this interior, man. Look at the digital display. The display is just something else. Like... The display can just put the map in the middle and just like, change around because it's digital. It, it's so freaking cool. And unfortunately, it doesn't like do the flashy, flashy like. Uh, oh, for God. As I was saying, it doesn't do the flashy, flashy that it normally does. It has like that way. Is that the is that the G's? I think that's the G's. Little G's. Little gangs. Well, seriously, it has so much on the information on this display. You can change it to what you want. That's what I want in a car. Like I, I love that. That's the. It's like, it doesn't feel too stupidly futuristic. You don't feel like you're, you're driving a space car. But at the same time, you have all the features that you really want on a digital display. It feels like that's, that's how every car should be. Let's watch, let's watch fucking Tracy Beaker on the screen. I don't care. You're not supposed to watch TV stuff while you drive here. I don't care if Tracy Beaker is on and I can watch it in my Audi on the fucking display. I'm gonna watch it. I'm not. I'm not. I won't put it on there. Is there actually another screen in there? Yeah, that's the one thing. There's no actual other screen in here. And I, I, I assume everything is controlled by that main screen, which is it's good for the, when you're the driver. But when you've got a passenger and the passenger, you can tell the passenger normally in most cars. But like, yeah, just change. Why are we doing proper reviews? Like, nobody cares if you worry. If you've got the money to buy this car, you don't worry. Oh, my passenger can't change the song. Who gives a wank? Did your passenger buy the car to enjoy the car? No, your passenger sat in the car getting a free lift from you, probably, so you can stop your whinging. And oh my god, I would absolutely love, love, love to have one of these cars. Even for a day, just to drive it. I know everyone wants to be honest. If you said you wouldn't want to enjoy it for a day, then you're just lying. But I mean, it's just... It's the first Audi that's, like, new Audi that I've just got, I'm like, oh my god, I want it so much. Whereas the RS6, it was kind of a gradual thing. This was like, as soon as it... I don't know. As soon as I saw it in person, I fell in love with it. I don't know. It's, it's a little bit different. Anyway, I think that'll do for this video. We had a lot of fun in the Audi today, but it's got it's to be packed away now. It's got to be packed away. And I, again, this pack, if you're wondering, is probably the best pack in the game so far. Unfortunately, it's not part of the season pass, which is a little bit scummy. But... That's just the way it is. The season pass is over. I was going to sing the two-pack song, but I'm not going to do that now. Anyway, as I said, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. And let me know if you want to see any other Forza content soon. I'm mostly going to be, obviously, hyping towards Forza Horizon 3. Hopefully, I'm assuming that's what's coming out. You just It just makes sense. Because my friends, Matty C, have an Xbox. Boom! Dropping bombs all day! Right, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, subscribe. And before we finish it off, one thing you've got to do in an all-wheel drive car is this. Perfect. You got a bit more power going. Push, 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 push. Push, push. Okay. Thanks. Okay.